What's up, gang? So today I got some panel swap out. So I'm adding, I'm swapping out mine to a 200 amp panel. Uh, my tenant's panel to 100 a just updated in more spaces and no match. And I got one going in my attic and one in the garage. So there goes all my breakers, my grounding line. I got the copper grounding rods outside. Grounding clamps for the rods and the water pipe. Adapters. Um, wire clamps. Breakers. A bunch of breakers. So this is all existing wiring, so I don't have to upgrade to the AF CI. Um, so here's what I did. So I currently have a 100 amp panel service for each apartment. So I bought a 200 amp, but a 100 amp main breaker, because I'm not a licensed electrician, I can't change that wire because you have to call the um, electric company and they have to turn off power and then while you upgrade it and it comes turn it back on. Um, I have a lock on my panel and blah, blah, blah. So um, if you call usually an electrician to do what I'm about to do for two panels, it's about twenty eight dollars to $3,000. I couldn't imagine more since after COVID. Uh, my sister did her house. I think she paid twenty six, twenty eight. That was three years ago. So I'm sure it's like thirty two hundred right now. So I'm doing it myself. I paid um, this panel's four hundred. This one's uh, one twenty, and then I got about about two hundred dollars in breakers and miss parts, another hundred bucks. So four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight hundred in material. So I'm saving about twenty two hundred dollars. I know it's gonna be done right. Um, so yeah, so once I'm done with this, I could call an electrician and tell them, hey, I just need the service line replaced. So, you know, X, Y, oh, I need a 200 service line. Right? So, as you can see, my freaking box is insanely crowded. Crowded. Oh my God, double tap breakers like crazy. It's just, it's insane. It's desperately needed. So, um, obviously this is going to have to get moved down or over and clean up all these wires. So I went and painted this last week. So this will be where I put my new breaker boxes and rising boxes. And then, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. What's up, gang? So I finally got all the wires out of the old breaker boxes. I uh, just got the new piece of plywood mounted. It's a much bigger. Um, so there was a lot of violations here, um, like me working on hot wires. So I just taped them off. Um, there's no disconnect outside, and I'm not licensed, so I can't call it a power company. So, But I did notice the lower panel does not have any ground whatsoever. So an upper panel... We have one to the water line and one outside, but the one outside I believe was cut or broke. So um, I'm going to go pound into two grounding rods and then ground both boxes properly to the two grounding rods outside and then ground to the water line. I know some of you are going to think I'm crazy, but this is what a $300 screwdriver looks like. Um, it came just in time because I'm getting ready to start torquing up these nuts. So the new code for NEC... I'm about to drop my brand new screwdriver. So new code is the breakers, all these lug nuts, everything has to be torqued down to manufacturer's uh, specifications. You see right here, it tells you what they need to be at. So I can't really read it, but it's usually 33 or 25 pound, uh, inch pounds of torque. So I'll unbox it and show you guys it. Alright guys, so here's the final product, finally finished all the loose ends, um, 
reorganize all these wires because they were everywhere. A few were short, so I jumped them. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty excited. Uh, I'll show you guys the inside. All right, guys. So here goes the insides. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud, you know. Um, yeah. So this was fun. And I look forward to doing a few more of these. I could get used to doing this for a living because I hate drywall sanding. So <laughs> there's nothing heavy about electrical. Everything's light and easy and fun. <laughs> so I might make a career change. 